Hey, this is Brian, and thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. Welcome back to our mini series on how to powder coat your brake calipers with the Eastwood Powder Coating Kit. In today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to put your brake calipers back together now that they're all apart. And I even have some replacement dust boots that we got from FCP Euro. If you're interested in powder coating your brake calipers, be sure to see the links in the description. We have links to absolutely everything you need to make this job possible. For this next part of the process, you are going to need some brake cleaner. You're going to need some clean microfiber towels. I like to have a wire brush. You also need an 11 millimeter open-ended wrench. Let's begin this process by getting our bleeder valves and we're going to put them right here and right here. Don't accidentally put it over here because that's where your brake line goes in. All right, so just take these and just thread it in. And because we use those silicone plugs, there's no powder coat in there and everything threads in just fine. Do this one over here. Then we'll get our 11 millimeter wrench. We'll just snug them up. Okay, good to go. All right, it's piston time. All right, for this next part of the process, the dust boots are brand new. I've already cleaned off these square seals. We're gonna take these pistons over here and we're gonna clean these off. So basically all I do with these is I just spray them down with brake cleaner and then one at a time, I take them and I just clean them off with a nice clean microfiber towel. Now one important note for this, don't use your wire brush because you don't want to score the piston because you might not get a good seal. You don't want to have a leaking caliper. It's just a mess, so don't do it. All right, so here's our end result with brake cleaner and just a microfiber towel. Looks brand new. So continue to do that to the other three. Spray it off. Wipe it down. Now while you have the spray out, you're going to want to hit these as well. And that looks drastically better. Let's just hit these while we're here. All right, this pin looks pretty good. Do the last one. All right, much better. Now what I'm going to do, just spray this down one more time inside here. Make sure that everything is as clean as possible with a brand new microfiber towel. Again, you never want to use a wire brush down here or on the pistons themselves. Next, we're going to use some brake fluid to help lubricate the square cut seal. Right where I'm pointing, you'll see the groove where the square cut seal gets seated. So what you want to do is guide the seal in place, ensuring that there's no bunching, there's no twisting, and it sits perfectly flat. So there you can see we have it completely seated. Uh, there's no pinching or binding. It's not twisted. It's nice and straight. Next, what we're going to do is grab our dust boot looks just like this and it's going to pop out this way just for reference what you want to do once again is just grab it and pull it down seats just like that in this groove right here so everything is completely seated I'm just gonna put that up like that Again, if you want to you can lubricate this a little bit with brake fluid but then all you want to do Line everything up, just push it in. Then what you want to do is take the dust boot and just press it into this groove right here. I'm going to just put this down for a second, make sure that I get this fully seated. All right, one done, three to go. All right, by this point, you're a pro. All right, what I'm doing now is I'm just compressing all of the pistons. It's gonna make the brake pad super easy to get in there. At this point, the brake is fully assembled, so let's go throw them on the car and check out how good they look. All right, at this time, we are ready to reinstall our brake calipers. Make sure you have a drip tray handy. Make sure you're not wearing your favorite pants and also have a microfiber towel handy. So, as you remember from the video when we took the brake calipers off, what we're going to do is we're gonna take this clamp off and it's going to start slowly dripping brake fluid. We're going to put that brake line right where it goes and we're going to twist the caliper around. We're going to get a 14 millimeter. We're going to tighten it up and then we're going to reinstall it. All right, so clamp is off. 
And here we go. Now one of the cool things about powder coating is it's actually brake fluid resistant, where brake fluid will eat right through paint. So if you spill some on it, you still want to clean it up, but you have that little peace of mind. And just be very careful that you don't nick your caliper while rotating it. Kind of like that. Okay. We're good for one last rotation. And we can start to tighten everything up. So I'm gonna take my 14 millimeter, and I'm gonna snug this up just for now. Then what we can do is take our caliper, slide it on. I like to get the top bolt situated first. And once again, this is an 18 millimeter. All right, and before that one gets too tight, come back here. We're gonna Tighten this one up. Then we'll go back and torque them down. And for torque information, see the description. We have it listed down there. Now that that's on, take your 14 millimeter and snug up your brake line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lubricate the back of the brake pads. Just gonna add just a very small amount this lubricant just to these little circles that's going to show me where those pistons are pushing in it's going to eliminate any brake noise when you're doing this make sure that you never put it on the actual face of the brake pad that would be bad and then you put the grease side towards the piston slide that all the way in I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side get that Slide it on in. All right, now what you can do is take your brake pin. So the side that has this little piece right here that moves around, this is the lock. It goes in from the back to the front. And when you're feeding it in, you have to go through the back hole, through this little hole in your brake pad, through the other hole in the brake pad, and then through this hole over here. To take your retaining clip, it goes like this, so the hook is going to face the front. I'm going to put it down like this. I'm going to feed this through. Get it situated with the first brake pad. Go through just like that. Make sure everything is lined up. And take your punch, just like that. Then what you're gonna do is press this down. Same thing. The fatter end goes towards the back. And make sure that everything is lined up. Shimmy this over. And we're all set. At this point, the caliper is fully installed. Uh, it's always a good idea that once you're done, just go back over it one more time, just check your torque, make sure that your brake line's tight, make sure your brake pads are seated correctly. One of the most important things you need to do now is you need to do a full brake flush. If you don't know how to do it, we have a link above. It's gonna show you exactly how. We also have the same link in the description. So once again, don't just put your caliper on and try to drive. It's not gonna work out and it's not gonna end well. You need to make sure that you bleed your brakes properly. Once your brakes are bled, you can throw your wheels back on. And as you can see, the yellow and the blue, ugh, a match made in heaven. Hopefully through this mini video series, we showed you that powder coating is not as daunting as it looks, and it's definitely something you can do from home. Once again, this is my very, very first thing that I've ever powder coated, and I think it came out incredible. Once again, we want to say thanks to Eastwood for making this video series possible. If you're interested in any of the parts that you need for powder coating, be sure to see the link in the description. We'll be happy to help you out down there. Again, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. As always, be sure to check us out. Keysmotorsports.com for all your BMW and retrofit needs. Proautomotion.com for anything aesthetics, carbon fiber, M-Sport conversions. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.